The Tree View widget in TK Enter is useful for showing results from a database, presenting a list, and more. Plus, it's highly customizable. In the previous video, I covered how to create columns and insert rows. In this video, we will dive deeper to learn more about the various options related to columns in the Tree View widget. We will cover how to create columns, show and hide columns, show an image in a column, set a header's text alignment, set the text alignment for columns, and finally, how to set the width of a column. Join me as we further explore the Tree View widget in TK Enter. Hi, my name is Jobin and I'm an open source developer. My channel is called Jobin Pi and it's all about Python and Linux. Welcome to Jobin Pi. Okay, so now we have our standard TK Enter code. Uh, we have import TK Enter as TK from TK Enter import TTK. And we have to import TTK because that's where the tree view widget is. And we're making a main window called root. And then we're starting our main uh, TK enter loop. So I'm just going to create a tree view widget. So I'm going to say tree view underscore vehicle vehicles equal TTK dot tree view. And I'm going to put it into root. Then we're going to pack it onto the screen. So I'll say tree view vehicles dot pack fill equal TK dot both expand equal true. Okay, so if we run this, we have a, a tree view widget with uh, nothing in it. So let's define some columns. So we can define columns in a couple of ways. We can Define columns when when we're instantiating the, the tree view widget on this line, um, or we can add the columns later on 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 the next line after it. So let's let's do it the first way, just so you can see an example. So we'll say column names equal, and then we'll say vehicle type. That's going to be one of my columns. Next one's going to be vehicle name, year, and color. And these are going to be referenced in code, which is why I've made them all lowercase. So these aren't exactly how the, the user will see them. Okay, so we have the column names in a, in a tuple like this. Now we can, when we're creating our tree view widget, we can say columns equal column names. And let's just run that, see what we get. There we go. So, so now we have them. So we have one, two, three, four, five, five columns. And we didn't have these columns there before. And yes, we have four defined here, but five are sh uh, showing up. And it's because this very first column is an icon column. So it's going to get created automatically by the tree view widget. Okay, so that's one way we can create columns um, by just passing it into ttk.treeview and then columns equal the column names. Another way we can create columns is by creating them later. So after we instantiate our tree view widget here, um, we can say tree view with tree view underscore vehicles dot configure and then columns equal column names and this should give us the same results and the same result and it, and it does okay so okay so i'm just going to leave it as is we're just going to go with the the second method uh tree view vehicles dot configure Okay, so now we want to show text in the headers so the user uh, can see what the, the headers are used for, what, what each column is used for. 
Um, the very first column, the icon column, um, we're going to make that the vehicle type. So I'm not going to actually define the vehicle type column column name up here because that's going to we're just going to use the icon column instead. So and that, in other words, I want this column to say vehicle type and not one of the other ones. So now we're down to four columns because I have three columns to find here and the very first one is a special icon column. So this one I want to set to vehicle type. Okay, so to do that, we use tree view underscore vehicles dot heading. And this is the name that TK enter gives to that special icon column number sign zero as a string. And I'm going to say text equal vehicle type. Let's just run that just to make sure we're headed in the right direction. And we are. Yep. So vehicle type. So the next one's going to be vehicle name. Let's just do that. vehicle name and text equal vehicle name. So here we're referencing the name that we defined for the column on this line. And we're setting the text to what the user will see. Okay, well, and we'll continue on. Next one is year, text equal year with a capital Y. And next, the last one is color and text equal color with a capital C. Okay, so let's just run that. Yeah, and we got, and we have the results uh, that we're looking for. Another way you can set the heading is by specifying the index. Um, the index for the very first column is still going to be number sign zero. So we still have to use this for the special icon column. But for vehicle name, which is a column that we've created, not one that comes with the tree view widget, one that we've created, we can specify the index. So we can say zero and it should give us the same result. And it does. So vehicle name is still there. So the very first column, which is this, is a special icon column. That is referenced as number sign zero. The next one over vehicle name would be index zero, then index one and index two and so forth. So it's, it's up to you. You can either use the index number or you can specify the string name um, in this case, I'm just going to specify the string name because it's just easier to understand in the code. What if I wanted to not show one of the columns, but still create it? In other words, I want to show a column later on, but I don't want to show a specific column in the beginning when my program first starts up. So let's say I don't want to show the column that says year, but I do want to create it and I want it to, to populate in the tree view. I just don't want to show it yet. How would I do that? In this line here that says tree view underscore vehicles and then dot configure, we're telling it what our columns are in this case, but we can continue on with another parameter and we can say display columns and then we can pass it the names of the columns that we're interested in seeing. So let's say that we just want to see vehicle name and color. Let's see what that gives us. Okay, so now we're just seeing vehicle name and color and vehicle type is a given. That's, that's one that's always included. So this is how we can hide a column and then show it later in our code. So if we wanted to show this later, we would just run this again, but then we would add year to it and then it'll show. So that's how you hide and show columns 
But what if I wanted to show an image in the header? So it actually is possible to show an image in the header. When, when you put an image in the header, it's going to show up on the right hand side of the header. Um, to do that, I'm going to use the pillow library, even though uh, TK Enter does support PNG files. Um, I think your mileage with that will vary. Um, sometimes it loads certain PNG files, other times it doesn't, I find. Um, I, I just find that it's more reliable just to go with the pillow library and load a PNG file that way. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to say from pill import image and image TK like that. Okay, so first I'm going to load the image. So here, so here I'm going to put with image dot open and I already have a an image. Um, it's vehicle dot PNG as image vehicle image equal image TK dot photo image IMG. Okay, so here we're loading the image uh, and we're loading it as a photo image that TK enter can use and we're putting it into this variable. Okay, and let's say if we wanted to show the image in this column, the, the, the special icon column. So here uh, with the heading method, we basically put image equal vehicle image like that. And if we run it, and there it is, that's our image there. And we can do the same thing with the other columns as well. Um, so if I added that same image, for example, to year, it would, it would do the same thing. So now we have two images. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it for the vehicle type column because that seems to be the place where it makes the most sense. And now I'm going to show you how to change the alignment of the header text. So let's say if I wanted vehicle type to be left aligned, um, so if I wanted to do that, again, with the heading method, I would say anchor equal TK dot W for West. And if I run that, you can see it's left aligned. And to make it right aligned, it would be East. And now it's right aligned. Okay, so I want to set it to left aligned, so I'm just going to set it to W like that. Uh, so at this point, we should add some rows, um, maybe at least one row. Okay, so to add a row, I'm just going to put tree view vehicles dot insert. And it's not going to have a parent, it's going to be a, a, a root item. Uh, index will be TK dot end, we're going to add it to the end of the tree view widget. And the text that we're going to add, it's going to be, uh, so this is, this will be for the vehicle type column. So it's going to be a sedan vehicle and the values will be for the other columns to the right of vehicle type. So the first one is vehicle name, Nissan Versa, the year, let's say 2010 and the color will be blue. Okay, so let's just run that to make sure we have a row and we do. So now I'm going to show you how to change the text alignment for the for the rows. Like for example, if I wanted to right align Nissan Versa, so it shows up here, uh, I'll show you how to do that. You would use the column method like this, a so tree view vehicles dot column and then the name of the column. So vehicle vehicle name and then anchor equal TK dot east. So E. And if I run that, I can see that Nissan Versa is um, right aligned. So that's that's how you change it. And if I want it back, I just uh, set it to W for West. 
which is the, the default. And if I set it to center, it should be centered now, which it is. Okay, so I'm just going to leave that as is. So you would use the column method to change the text alignment of uh, rows inside a column. And now I'll also show you how to set the width of a column. So you have, so right now all the different columns have the same width, um, but year doesn't need to be as long. And you know, it could be that big and color, it could be that big and, and it'll, it'll be fine. So to do that, let's, let's try to make the uh, year column smaller by default. So to do that, we also use the column method. So I'm just going to put treeviewvehicles.column and year, and I'm going to put width equal 150, and this is in pixels. Okay, so that's still too big. Um, let's just make it 100 pixels. Yeah, that's, that's definitely better. And another option that you can set is a minimum width, uh, width, because right now, if I try to resize it and make it really small, it lets me, uh, you can prevent that from happening. So we can say min width equal 100. So it won't let the user go less than 100. So now I can make it bigger, but if I try to make it less than 100, it won't let me. You can see that it just pushes the other column, but it won't actually make the year column any smaller. Another feature that I think you'll find useful is the following. Look at the vehicle type column. Right now, if I expand this window, you can see that this very first icon column, the vehicle type column, expands with the window as I, as I expand it and uh, as I make it smaller. So what if I wanted to make the vehicle type column fixed so that it wouldn't expand as I resize the window? There is a way to do that. So for this, I also have to use the column um, method. So here I could say treeviewvehicles.column and which column? So it would be number sign zero, the very first column. And I can say stretch equal false. And if I run that, Watch when I expand the window, the vehicle type column doesn't move with it. And I can actually make that a bit smaller too so that the uh, image is closer to the text. So we can say width equal 100. Let's try that. That's no, too small. Um, 150. That's better. And now as we expand it, the vehicle type column doesn't move and that's because we specified stretch equal false using the column method okay so those are uh, some of the main features of columns and headers um, I hope you found this useful I hope you learned something if you enjoyed this video uh, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel until the next tutorial thanks for watching